On September 11th, 2023, our second day of class, we were asked to journal about our intentions for this class and why we joined it. And I wrote, I got to this class because my dad pushed me to try something new. He said it would be a good opportunity, a once in a lifetime opportunity, and told me to just go for it. So with a little push, I applied and got in. Now that I'm here, my intentions are to keep pushing myself so that I can keep finding once in a lifetime opportunities. Every yes creates a new door and you can only grow by pushing yourself. After all, a fish can only grow as large as its bowl, and I don't want to be in the same bowl forever. Additionally, you only ever regret the things you don't do. So I want to keep an open mind and try everything. So at the beginning of this class, I think I understood the importance of saying yes to things I might not be ready for, but I didn't truly understand the effects of this until this semester unfolded. You see, the idea of saying yes before I was ready to has always been important to me, but I had never heard it so well articulated until I met Jesse Perez. Jesse Perez was a guest speaker in our class who was a professor who works at the Old Globe and USD theater program. He came into our class and made us do an interactive exercise where we walked in a circle and worked on multitasking. The point of this exercise was to show us that we can multitask without having time to plan it. We had to think on our feet and despite everyone's doubts, he showed us that we are capable of more than we expect if we simply go before you are ready. This message resonated deeply with me because it showed me, in a physical way, and not just through words, that I am capable of more than I think. I just need to learn to jump and the right parachute will find me. After we did this exercise, I applied it to my real life, taking initiative and spontaneously deciding to join AD Pi. You see, I never expected to join a sorority, but knew I wanted to meet more people. So I had a good friend encourage me to try rushing, and I decided to go for it and joined. Even on mid day, I felt extremely anxious about my decisions, but I put all my anxieties aside and accepted anyway. After all, in my opening reflection, I wrote that you only regret the things you don't do. So I decided to do this and trust that it would turn out the way it was meant to. Months later, all my anxieties are gone and I love being a part of the Pi. I get to watch the consequences of my spontaneous choice unfold and bring me so much joy. I have met so many wonderful people, gained a new big sister, and some lifelong friends. I found a sense of community that I would never would have forever lost if I didn't jump in and push myself. I'm forever grateful I learned to go before I'm ready because it led me to these amazing people. Now, not only does the lesson of go before you are ready apply and strengthen my personal life, but it has also helped build my leadership style. I got to witness how this mindset builds a person leadership styles in chapter 10 of Robert Cole's novel, Lives of Moral Leadership. In this chapter, Al Jones explains how he used to drive a bus of black kids from a not so great neighborhood to a better one in order for them to have a better education. When initially this issue was being discussed and they lacked a bus driver, Jones was on the fence about doing it. He was anxious because he knew about all the ridicule and death threats he'd received, but he decided to put all that aside and in the church meeting, he stood up and said plainly, let's go. Those two words, that one choice, that one leap led him to change a school bus of lives. He stepped up and went before he felt ready, changing the lives of those around him for the better. And that's how I want to lead. Always saying yes before you have time to reflect and plan means that you do not have time to fake who you really are. Just as Jones could have not faked how scared he was to drive the bus, I cannot fake that the anxiety I have pushes me to make some of my choices. However, we must decide to leap anyway and go before we are ready in order to make a difference. Congruently, living with a go-before-you-are-ready mindset pushes me towards an authentic leadership style. I do not have time to plot how I'm going to act. I simply have to trust my gut to do my best to be authentic, vulnerable, and kind. While this can be a good thing as it pushes me towards a more authentic leadership style, it also has some downsides. Sometimes when I'm simply thinking on my feet, I do not have the room to slow down and reflect on how my actions are making others feel. In other words, sometimes my mind is working too fast or frantically to make sure I'm putting my own morals first. And side note, since one note I was given this class, um, in this class by Vinche, was that I'm really good at stating the importance of leadership in relation to the readings, but sometimes need to make it more personal. I'll give an example of my behavior this semester that I'm not super duper proud of. This semester was the first semester ever USD women's rugby team has played in real games. And since I've been training with the team for a year, I have been so excited. I had no idea we were even going to play in real games until like a month before, but I knew I needed to go for I was ready and play with my team. 
this, I jumped right into real games and was forced to think on my feet. However, since I still don't have a lot of experience in rugby, I only focused on winning and focused on the mechanics and accidentally maybe made some new girls feel excluded. I would only focus on how I was playing and did not take the time to help some of the new girls around me, causing them to feel left out. I remember specifically one of the new freshmen asking me for tackling advice on their form, and I said that I didn't have time to help her because I was too busy on my own game, and the next game she got hurt, and I felt like it was entirely my fault. Thus, while I still think it's important to go before you are ready, I need to learn how to jump into new things while still putting my value first. I can't simply jump into new opportunities blindly. I must constantly be checking in on myself and making sure my actions are portraying my core values correctly. I always want to create an inclusive and kind environment, and thinking on my feet should never stop that. As I continue rugby and step up into the media leadership role in my sorority next semester, I will continue to use the lessons from this class and jump on new opportunities presented to me. I mean, that's the main takeaway I have from this semester. Of course I'm going to use that lesson. I will do my best to always say yes when I can and continue to grow as I make a bigger effort to stop and reflect on if my actions are actually demonstrating my morals. I will continue to go before I am ready and push myself to grow in the best ways possible. I am forever grateful I was pushed to join this class and have learned how to push myself on my own now. I will keep the lessons this class has taught me forever and I will continue to progress through authenticity and kindness. Thank you for the wonderful lessons, wonderful memories, and for allowing me to learn with such wonderful people this semester. I've had an amazing time. Oh, and here are my sources. Thank you.